Hey guys, Sure Shot Magic here doing a video. This is going to be a takedown on the WE uh, M16s, uh, M4s, you know, CQBRs, and 416s because they're all the same. Um, so if you're curious on how to do everything, you know, take it down, clean it, or whatever, um, here's a video on it. I, I will, I'll go ahead and tell you, like, places to clean and lube and stuff. So, um, I'll kind of combine the disassembly and the, um, like, word of lube and stuff maintenance. So, first of all, you want to make sure your gun's clear. So my magazine's empty. You know, you can rack it back and make sure your chamber's empty. You don't have to make sure the chamber's empty, but... It's just a safety thing. Um, and then you can pop either just one. You have to pop the front pin out. It's it's not like you can just pop it out and slide it. So, um, kind of actually, you have to take the back pin out. Sorry. So it's not like you can just pop the front one out and slide it out. You have to end up taking the back one out. But you can take the back one out and pivot it, or you can take them both out at the same time and separate them completely. Hope that makes sense. Like that. So you can do that, or you can hinge it by just taking out the back one. But uh, we're going to separate it completely. Actually, let's do the upper first. So this is the upper. Um, so this is your upper receiver. Now, rails will be different. Uh, let me go ahead and grab a chair really quick. Your rail will be different, but mine actually has six uh, star screws on it but it depends on what rail you have so I'm not going to go into de detail on that um hopefully it's in the right spot sorry um so you have your upper you have your rail you have your outer barrel your inner barrel um to take this apart the, the your bolt carrier out you have to slide it back um it does not just slide right on out it locks into the receiver like the real thing so put it like halfway out don't pull it out all the way, otherwise when you take the bolt out, it'll actually pivot and fall. So you can just do that, pull it out the rest of the way, um, and then you can pull this out and pull it up from the grooves in the charging handle. Here's your charging handle. You can't really take this apart except for the uh, pin for the latch. You can take that out if you want to put an extended latch. Um, I actually might do that. I'm, not, I'm thinking about it. This is a steel latch, which I like so it doesn't break, but it does mark up the receiver over here so I'm thinking about putting like an extended latch on this um, and then keeping this as a spare so if the extended latch breaks I can pop it out um, these are made of aluminum though with um, obviously like I said the steel latch right here so um, I like that WE did that they've been doing that for a while as far as I know um, this is your carrier here with your nozzle all right, so up here you have your gas key. Um, now to take out the nozzle, you have to take off your gas key here by, there's one screw here, and then you have to take the screw out on the top nozzle guide, pull your side nozzle guide out, and then there's a pin right here that you have to pop out, and then you can pull your nozzle completely out. So that's how you take apart the nozzle, take the nozzle out. I'm not gonna do it on camera, um, but that's how you do it. It's easy. Um, like I said, screw here, take the top nozzle guide out, take the side nozzle guide out, and then just pop the pin out right back here and then you can pull your nozzle out and then there's one pin in the nozzle to separate the nozzle now as you can see this is actually chipped uh i i tried a friend's stand i mag out in this gun and i the, like i racked it and it jammed and apparently snapped that off so i've been using v, uh, vietnam magazines in this gun and i have one p mag um and actually jammed once with the p mag so i think for some reason the thing just likes vietnam magazines i don't know if you know something's wrong with it or if it likes it because I've just that's just what I've been using the whole time so it, I don't know got used to it I, I'm not sure exactly I don't plan on using anything but Vietnam though except for that one P mag um so yeah that's how you take apart your uh, carrier uh, to get your nozzle out lube wise um, I would lube the bottom of your bolt here where it's uh, where it's silver there and then the side of your bolt right here you could do both sides I only do the uh, left side though because I don't like the right side looking all greased up. That's just my preference. Um, this side contacts the uh, left side of the receiver which has more contact space so that's just what I recommend. As you can see. Um, lube wise on the receiver, uh, put some on the uh, left side of your receiver. That's what I do. 
um, and then I actually put some on the charging handle inside the grooves where the uh, where the um, gas key moves the ruler on the top of the gas key um, I also lube up the outside of the charging handle a little bit just a little bit I don't really like doing a whole lot because then it gums up on the back of the receiver here and I don't like that um, to clean this out, you'll need to take a rag or paper towels or toilet paper even and then some like ear cleaners and to get down deep inside the charging handle grooves. Clean that out every time you come back from a game because it gets extremely dirty. I use Teflon grease, uh, silicone grease, and murder oil to lube this thing up, but it's still, after my, a game, it just gets dirty. It's just, it's gunky. It's not like it stops cycling. It still cycles and everything, but it's just like gunky. Um, barrel wise, well I need to clean out that barrel, um, clean out your barrel, um, I'll do that here after this, you just use, you know, I use, uh, um, paper towel, actually cut a piece of paper towel and just clean it out, I I'll do that after, um, just with a cleaning rod, that's all you gotta do, I don't have a cleaning rod down here, so I, actually, I do, but there's no, there's no, uh, paper. Or anything to clean out with. So yeah, um, that's just simple. To take apart your upper receiver, get your rail off. That's all you got to do, and then you can just pull your outer barrel right off, and then the inner barrel is there. Nothing special. Just whatever rail you have, take your rail off, and it should be everything should be there. The barrel nut and everything's got to come off, and then you can put this back together. It's pretty simple. This, you know, basically copies the real thing. Then your lower receiver here, uh, buffer lock, push it down, pull your buffer and buffer spring out. Um, I have some uh, washers in there because I'm using the standard A2 buffer with uh, the full stock. So that you know doesn't work very well. It's supposed, I'm supposed to have a, 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 uh, A1 full stock buffer, but the person sent me this one. So I had to put some stuff inside the buffer but you do you can do that you can clean the spring off I mean it's actually pretty dirty so you can you know get a toothbrush or whatever a rag and just wipe off the coils um, the back of this will get dirty too and then to get your trigger box out that's a that's a main thing in here uh, places to lube I would just lube your springs but other than that there's really not a whole lot to lubricate that was a piece of uh, or uh, heat shrink. To get your trigger box out though, there's a screw on the top here. Actually, I'm not going to show you that, guys. I'm going to make this video quick. But to take take your, I'll show you de in detail. To take your uh, trigger box out, there's a screw right here. You pull that out. You take a long screw, or a long uh, Phillips head, and take the grip screw out. Now, there is going to be a, I'll actually do that for you here. But I just don't want to take the uh, the receiver pin out because I glued that in place because that thing does move with the recoil. So, and I want it in there because without it, it looks you know like there's a hole in the middle. So, so you take the screw out and the grip. There's going to be a spring on your uh, grip, but also there's going to be a detent that's going to fall out. That's your selector detent. So you don't lose that. So once you do that, pull your selector switch out. Um, take your grip off first. You do not take, I repeat, you do not take your selector switch out before you take the grip off. Okay? You take the grip off first, and then pull your, you know, you gotta pull that selector detent out. Then you can pull your selector out, and then pop your pin out right here, this pin, and then you can pull your trigger box up. You don't have to take out your, um, your, um, mag catch, which I love, because with that Western Arm System stuff, to get into the knocker setup, you have to take your uh, magazine catch out, which, you know, I had uh, the stock WOC mag catch break because, you know, just pulling it out, putting it back in, pulling it out, it's just, it wears it out. This thing I've never taken out whatsoever, and it's, even the previous owner, you know, I don't know how much he used it, but it's flawless when I have it right now. So... Um, yeah, that's how you, you know, do things. If you want to lube up anything in here, lube up the top of your hammer, this roller bearing. Um, 
you know, clean everything up with, like, ear cleaner, whatever you call those, uh, all the springs down in here, which I actually am need to replace some of these parts. I'm going to replace the disconnector, the trigger, the hammer, and the uh, knocker because those have been through a lot of rounds. So I'm going to replace all those. It's like 30 bucks for all those parts, I think. No, it's like 25 Yeah, it's like 25 for all those parts. Actually, no, I'm not going to get a knocker. Yeah, because Evike doesn't have a knocker in stock. So I'm spending like 20 no, 25 for the uh, other parts, but the knocker I'm just gonna keep. Um, the, it, the knocker, it does, it's not like it snaps or anything, but it's been, it hits the valve so much that it's actually started like indent round. Back of the valve has started like indent in it. So, no big deal though, it's not like less gas gets released or anything. So I'm gonna go and fire it really quick, just to show you. I'm gonna turn the bolt lock mode off. go so it does work um yeah i really enjoyed this rifle if you have any questions just ask um that's just a general takedown um that i just did but if you need to get into the trigger box or the nozzle i showed you how to like i explained it um if you have any further questions like you need me to do it or i can, if you request i can make a video um, I've done it before, I just don't want to take up the time on video if somebody's just looking at this video just to know how to, you know, pull the buffer spring out or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos guys, um, I will be making more here and there.